Well, well. Seems you've finally come around. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam and are now ready to begin your life anew as a synthester. Now, now, try to stay calm. You did sign the contract, didn't you? Let's have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee, ah, that's you, does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities without objection. As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines and books per the signee's wishes. Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you'd ever endorse such a document. <laughs> So you remember then, you sold your soul, your very essence, to us. Either way, fortune has smiled upon you today, as you are the only one for whom this experiment succeeded. You, more than any other, overflow with desire. 
Your attachment to physical objects is stronger than I've ever seen before. The others simply couldn't measure up. They were failures and were thus asked to leave. There to exist as the hunted, you see. <laughs> no need to look so concerned. Perhaps I should tell you a bit more about the Synthesters. Synthesters are chosen beings. Superhumans who exceed ordinary humans in terms of motor reflexes and raw strength alike. To fulfill their own desires, they exert a truly unfathomable power. One could even say their potential is downright infinite. There is a catch, however. They have a certain weakness to the light of the sun. It's their Achilles heel. You could almost think of them as man-made vampires, though without the unfortunate thirst for blood, of course. Everyone else in the room has undergone this same metamorphosis into a chosen being. They are the same as you. You came for a job, no? Well, that's all I want from you. I need some part-time help, and you newly born Synthesters are just the ones to provide it. Oh, it's nothing like what you're thinking, I'm sure. It's a simple job, something anyone can do, really. You're to attack the people wandering the streets of Akiba and absorb their life energy. Don't worry, it won't kill them. I simply wish to borrow that which gives them the will to carry on from day to day. Simply drain their life energy and bring it back to us and your job will be complete. And of course you will be handsomely rewarded for your efforts. As much as you'd like will be yours for the taking. You're as foolish as you look, it would seem. A pity, really. Well, the choice is yours. Just know this. Defective goods must be destroyed. Master Zenya, we have a situation. I don't like the sound of that. What's wrong? Th there's an intruder in the building right now. An intruder? What happened to the guards? Can you move? Follow me. We're getting out of here. Subdue the intruder! Now! Yes, my master! our best chance. Move. Damn you. How dare you make light of us? Do you truly expect me to let you escape so easily? 
You shielded me? Are you all right? Men, surround them. Whatever you do, don't let them escape. Yes, my master. I'm going for it. Stay close behind me. I think we lost them. Are you all right? Can you still walk? You're injured. This is from when you shielded me, isn't it? You still seem to be in full control, but it won't be long until that's not the case. Very well, if I have no choice. <clears throat> I'm going to share some of my blood with you. This will most likely save you, but it may bring you even greater suffering in the days to come. If you think you're willing to take that chance, then please, drink my blood. You can't speak, can you? I won't waste any more time explaining then. This blood will lead you down a difficult road, I fear. But in the end... Your fate is your own to shape. <laughs> I, Shizuku Tokikaze, do hereby decree that this man, whose blood will soon resonate with my own, be welcomed among us. <laughs> it seems to have taken, and thankfully, your wounds are now healed. My name is Shizuku Tokikaze. What is yours? It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you've heard the rumors, haven't you? That monsters have been attacking people on the streets of this town? I am a hunter. It is my duty to slay these monsters. These... synthesters. Typically, those who are transformed into synthesters lose all sense of reason. They blindly, violently pursue all that they desire. Fortunately, you managed to avoid being swallowed up by your own material lust. As far as I can determine, you still seem to be fully capable of rational thought. Though I suppose that's because of the blood contract. You're something more than a synthester now. No, never mind. Your wounds may have healed, but you're still weak. And you're still extremely vulnerable to sunlight. During the daytime, you'll need to take care not to expose any of your skin below the neck. Otherwise, your body may dissolve. In a sense, yes. You share their aversion to the sun, at least. Though crosses and garlic won't ward you off. It may take some time for your body to heal. I'd suggest we rest here for the night. I don't think they'll find us here anytime soon. Try your best to relax. You should be able to move again come morning. Are you up? I'm sorry to ask this first thing in the morning, but do you know of any safe havens in the area? We won't accomplish anything by wandering aimlessly through the streets after all. I'd prefer someplace quiet where we can regroup, but anywhere is fine as long as it's secure. Mogra? All right then, will you show me the way? 